Hey guys, on this episode I'll be doing a build out for a outdoor studio. So I recently just bought a slow motion camera, something I've wanted basically for the last decade or so. And now I'm gonna make a little smash lab here for smashing things and other things, filming anything sort of slow-mo that I do on a little set outside. You can see here, so we're gonna put it right where this thing is. I just scored some old growth lumber, which has a million nails in it. <laughs> Look how many nails are in this thing. Here's some of the other boards I got for free. Um, these ones have a few nails in them, but they're pretty good. So we'll see what I do with all this, but I've got more wood to unpack. All right, next up is to pound all the nails out of these boards. This is the worst one, so we'll see what I'm getting myself into here. old growth lumber doesn't even dent when I miss <laughs> hitting the nail with my hammer. It's pretty amazing. these nails out is a real pain in the butt. <laughs> use a hammer, I use this weird painting tool thing, kind of get in here and hit it or something. I don't know, I'm not a super handy guy, but and I've also used the pliers to try to rip it out, which does work, but it kind of shreds the wood. So, I don't know. All right, that was a lot of work <laughs> to get these nails out. Luckily, this has got the most nails in it. Uh, I got some other boards here. We'll just start cranking them out one after the other here.
what's really amazing is, is all this wood is all old growth wood. A lot of it, the um, the grain is so tightly packed. They're probably like hundred or two, three hundred, four hundred year old trees. So here's the final wood that I've prepared. You can see lots of boards. Let me know in the comments below what kind of wood this is. I don't really know, but I know it's old growth. Lots of wood there. These are super heavy too. So the other wood I got is all this stuff I chucked over the fence. It was easier to get it in that way. And you can see it's just, it's smaller boards. There's some nails in there. This needs to be cleaned up too, but uh, any smaller bits are like tops of tables and stuff I can use from that stuff. But all the main construction will come from all this stuff here. You can see I got a steel ring as well. This is all metal. So I can use this to wrap and then any sort of, I don't know, We'll see if things, anything were slow motion, but if I need something to contain it within steel, this is a nice little find. And there's also a pipe. So you can see the pipe is here. So a nice little tube, might be put something in there, see if I can create a little bit of a rocket and then have something launch out of there and catch that in slow-mo. All right, the next day here, uh, I need a tree stump. So now I'm building a slow motion filming set in my backyard. So if I smash something like a pumpkin or a watermelon or Anything else, like whatever, so put stuff in a blender, or, you know, Mentos, Coca-Cola, whatever it is, it makes a mess. It'll do it in my yard and not in my house. But for smashing stuff, I want to actually put it on something like a tree stump. I think that would be cool. You would have more clearance off the ground. You get to see it fall down and not just shoot out. As I go through this process, I'm going to need some of your help, your ideas on how to build this and how to set this up. Uh, I have a general idea, but you know, once I get it kind of starting to go, then I'll, I'll, I'll show you a little bit more and I'll ask for um, tips. But I'm gonna be making multiple videos, so I'll post this one first and then get some ideas and then I can incorporate them versus just building something and then not being able to do anything. So aside from all the boards that I just picked up, I just went and got this thing, which is a platform, some old piece of wood or whatever, but now I have a nice flat platform. It's still pretty sturdy wood, so I've got that. But now let's go get a tree stump. Oh, my lock just broke. <laughs> oh, poor thing. See this, there's a ladybug living behind where the wood was for my lock. So not too far from my house, I know where there's some chopped up logs because there's trees that fall here all the time. And then the city comes in and just chops them up into chunks and just leaves them. So I don't think they'll miss uh, one chunk of missing out of the woods. And straight ahead of me here is the most dangerous intersection I've ever been to in my life. Just check this out. No one will actually stop, even though there's a painted crosswalk. Okay, well normally when I cross it, there's, there's always cars there and they never stop and you have to kind of risk your life to get across this road. So I already started brainstorming a master list of things I want to shoot in slow motion. I basically dumped my life savings into a slow motion camera for my YouTube channel and um, yeah, I just felt like I had to do something. I really love slow motion. I've always wanted to do this for the past like until I, once I even learned about slow motion, I've always wanted to, to shoot some videos with that. So that's what I'm doing. If you have ideas, leave in the comments below of what you want to see. I'll be posting it on my main channel, Earth Titan. I also have some macro lenses so I can shoot slow motion macro. Like imagine an ant colony with a zillion ants moving around really quickly. I can slow that down to like almost still. So that'll be really cool. So there used to be some chunks of wood over here. I'm hoping they're still here. Let's go check it out. So this is what I'm looking for here. I just need one cut off of this, like something like this, this huge tree that's down. This would be perfect. But I don't have a chainsaw, so I need to find one that's cut. Well, that's no go. There's a, they're all gone, I don't know where they went. People around here burn wood for the heat, which is pretty common. So I'm guessing people just collected them and burned them. So uh, I'm gonna go somewhere else and see if I can find some. Well, I'm at my second spot here and it's all gone too. So eh, I'm gonna have to find another spot. But fun fact, there's a, a wild cherry tree right behind me here. Very tasty. It's 
time to cross the road again. Let's see what happens. I think it actually gets a law to drive through a crosswalk like that when someone's in it, just like that guy just did. <laughs> I'm expecting it. So I ended up finding a log round while I was on a hike with a friend. And then when I went back the next day with another friend, I ended up carrying it up the mountain and then back down the mountain. Well, I left it halfway, carried it back down. So I now have my log, my round cut that I can put stuff on. If you guys enjoyed this first episode of my outdoor studio build, I've got a couple more episodes before this is done. So let me know in the comments below what you think I should be doing out here or any ideas and I'll try to incorporate them. Be sure to subscribe, hit the thumbs up button. Until next episode, have a good one.